The health sector is a hot topic in Christchurch post-earthquake. The government's investing half a billion dollars to rebuild both Christchurch and Burwood hospitals. First term MP and Green Party House spokesperson Kevin Haig has been travelling the country, sharing his party's vision for the health sector's future. In Christchurch, he's praising the health authority's response in the aftermath of the earthquakes, but says there are new issues that need the focus of the government. What we're facing now, though, is the long haul, and the long haul is um, a, a series of waves of, of um, particularly mental health issues, um, as well as issues associated with people living for protracted periods in sort of cold, damp housing. Christchurch is his 19th stop on his tour to the country's major cities and towns. Starting in the middle of February, he will round off the trip next month after he visits another 10 places. He's supporting the government's push to rebuild two of the city's largest hospitals, but says funding now needs to be put back into health services. He describes these services as being $100 million underfunded around the country. So that they can actually cope with uh, that increasing need, particularly in community-based services here in Christchurch, because those are the particular areas that have lost funding um, in, the current, in the current environment with this minister. Um, and those are the very services that Christchurch people are going to need desperately. Haig is critical of Health Associate Minister Peter Dunn's plan to ban all legal hires within two weeks until they're proven to be safe. Last year when this law went through, um, 119 out of 120 MPs all agreed that prohibition was not the way to go um, because it, uh, it drives the problem underground, in fact, makes it harder for people to get treatment, um, puts the trade uh, into the hands of, of criminals uh, who will have methamphetamine in their other pocket. Hague has big dreams come this year's elections. Well, I would very much like to be a health minister after September 20th and an incoming Green and Labour government. I've um, had a long history in the health sector and lots of different roles, um, most recently as the chief executive of the district health board and previously director of the New Zealand AIDS Foundation. And Current health minister Tony Riles already announced he's leaving politics at the end of the year, so a new minister will need to be found. Based on polls from last month, that minister might not be Kevin Haig. The Greens were only up 2.3 points to 13.1% in the poll and with Labour would hold a combined 42.6%. But that's less than Nationals, 50.2%, which would enable the party to govern alone if the poll transferred to an election result. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.